Yes, Bob, you had a point, please. Yeah, yes, I wanted to pick from where Mwishmiwa had left and uh, reminded us of the famous case of Marbury versus Madison, <coughs> celebrated uh, American case. And I wanted to remind him that uh, also uh, what Justice Marshall uh, did state in that case uh, and in view of the Constitution in creating actually what we are also talking about, uh, the, the, the aspect of judicial review, the aspect that you can challenge uh, the actions of, of other uh, arms of government, um, action by the executive, yeah. action by the legislature, <coughs> in the sense that whatever is done, and I think you made that point, must be done within the confines of the constitution. Whether it is planning, whether it is uh, uh, execution of a project, that must be done within the confines of the Constitution. And that is why Justice Marshall said, a law which is repugnant, and I might paraphrase that and add to uh, an action, a misaction that is repugnant to the Constitution <coughs> is void. And that, that is why I think uh, Kenyans also designed, um, and, and I, and I, and I uh, join hands with the, the two gentlemen, uh, in the aspect of you cannot have institutions that are only independent but not accountable. And that's why in our design you find that Kenyans did secure yeah. and they <clears throat> did a good job in securing the independence of many institutions but uh, primarily the, the judiciary. You mentioned the JSC, how uh, it was revised considering uh, what we had in section 61 of the previous constitution where the president you know, was literally running uh, the, the, the judiciary uh, to what we have now. And we've seen some fruits from it. But also um, uh, there is accountability you know, in, in this the J, JSC and the expansion of, 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 of uh, its membership, uh, the powers that it, it has. Uh, and we've seen many, many uh, judicial officers uh, come to face uh, this, this institution. So I think these are the things that we should be looking at in, 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 and using, because these are, these are the, 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 the uh, uh, railroads that we laid out and said, yes, we are going to give this very important institution and the people that play the roles within them, uh, these powers, this protection, mm -hmm. but also Kenyans, on the other hand, designed and said, we will hold you accountable in this way. And so that is why whenever anyone has an issue that touches on the accountability of a judge or any judicial officer, yeah. then we have to use the right channels. Because if you don't use the right channel, then we'll be going to what Mwishimiwa talked about, anarchy. Yeah. Uh, we'll be running the country uh, through okay. uh, public opinion, uh, public rhetoric, which cannot be tested, which the, whose veracity uh, and truth cannot be accountable. And that is why also these projects, programs, plans that government and especially executive undertakes if any Kenyan feels that there is something questionable, mm -hmm. they have their right of day to go to the courts. And the other thing I want to say is that when we throw these blanket statements uh, that the judiciary is, uh, is, is, is corrupt, and I want to bring it within uh, our current political context, um, and, and I think also what Kenyans are seeing in terms of, uh, if I may use the term, hypocrisy, because Within the past 12 or 14 months, uh, and especially after the judiciary uh, delivered yeah. uh, the presidential it's, it's petition. around the presidential, we had now sides have changed. Yeah. Um, uh, the government was out praising the judiciary. Isn't it? Yeah. Kenyans remember that. Uh, whereas the opposition was out uh, vilifying, uh, or the side that uh, lost uh, vilifying the judiciary, almost using the same rhetoric, uh, you know, corrupt, uh, uh, pocketed by, by the executive, etc. Now tables have turned. And I think in some way, um, uh, and the judiciary is not perfect, I agree with uh, to, to that, yeah. but in some way it sort of shows uh, that its independence is somewhat intact because at the end of the day, if you are being fried uh, by both sides, yeah. uh, you, yeah. you make, mm -hmm. meaning that you're not making anyone happy, mm -hmm. um, it means that uh, in, in some sense you are delivering your, your obligation and your mandate okay. uh, in a way that is, is, is fair to all. But not to say that there are no problems uh, with, the, yeah. uh, with the institution. <clears throat> but if 
um, they hear the ranks of uh, Mweshimiwa here um, uh, fatally, you know, losing hope around uh, the institution. When they hear the leader of the nation in the presidency uh, in a fatalistic manner also uh, pronouncing as if there is nothing that can be done. And we know uh, these are people with vital information uh, which can be directed to the right okay. institutions and processes. Yeah. Then I think, unfortunately, uh, if we lose yeah. any of these uh, important arms of government in terms of how the public perceives them, uh, it is not only the judiciary yeah. or the legislature yeah. that loses, but it's the entire uh, edifice of, of the state. Even if, if I may add, some of this rhetoric also must be checked in yeah. the sense that, for instance, the judiciary is, 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 is the guarantor of, uh, of, 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 of uh, let me uh, you know, cut to the chase. We want investors to come to this country. Mm -hmm. Investors will go to a country where they know rule of law is respected, where they know you can enforce contract, you know? So if you are sounding out, and especially from the high echelons of the, of the state and government, if your rhetoric is to the point that we do not have an accountable judiciary, yeah. we have a corrupt <clears throat> judiciary, and on the other hand, you come out and invite investors to come to this country, then you're stepping on your own toes. Okay, yes, Honorable Farah. In as much as you yes, may be we, speaking we, we, we are, truth to your people. Yeah, we, are, 